Good day, my fellow friends and patriots, brothers and sisters, friends of all shapes and sizes. You there. Hi, how's it going? We're here delivering in Surrey, British Columbia. I got this glass here. It's another on-time, safe delivery. Best record, Josh. Didn't even break one of them. Never have, either. Want to see them? I just got the tarps off. Want to see You don't want to see them? No, I'm going to show them to you anyway. Let's, let's see them. all put away all nice and neat and pretty this came all the way from Minnesota to the west coast of Canada three days of driving 3,000 kilometers 2,000 miles drove about 600 miles a day to get here went over two mountain ranges across the plains and prairies across half the continent. You need the job done. I'm the man for the job. You get her done. So now we gotta wait around here. There's graffiti someone put on that wall there. That's just, that's just disrespectful. So I'm filming this on a Friday. And we're gonna be here over the weekend because this truck is, like I was telling you the last couple of days on the way here, it's going into the shop today at 4.30 p.m. Now, I'm not sure how long their shop is open, but if I'm going into the shop at 4.30 p.m. on a Friday, I have this funny, suspicious, sneaky feeling that I'm gonna be here till Monday or Tuesday. <laughs> so what they're doing is they're replacing my air dryer. Uh, air, air dryer is pretty much shot, it's on its way out. It needs to be replaced. Apparently it's like a hundred or two hundred dollar part and plus about an hour of labor to put it in. That's no big deal. But then I need them to diagnose why my engine light came on. That worries me a bit, but you know, it's, it's come on and off for like the past two years that I've owned this truck. It comes on, it goes off, it comes on, it goes off. Every time I bring it to a mechanic or every time they plug their computer into it, they say, oh, it's just a sensor. It's just a sensor. Oh, look at that. It's just a sensor again or it's just a power line or a wire or something. So I'm not really too concerned about it. The truck has been running great. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming it'll just be a wire again. Let's hope, knock on wood, cross your fingers, cross your toes, whatever you gotta do. By the time you watch this, uh, I will have already known, because it takes me a day or oh, a couple of days, a few days, about a week to get these videos out to you. So I'll already know the answer. So I would ask for your hopes and prayers, but it'll be a little late by the time you watch this. But thank you anyway, I appreciate it. I knew you were going to say that in the comments. So hopefully it's nothing too big. And then uh, if it is, it's going to be in there a couple of days. But maybe they can get it all done today. I don't know. I don't know how long they're open. We're going to Volvo in Langley, British Columbia. Which is like down the road from here. Uh, around Down the road around the corner. What's it called? What's it called? Where are you? I'm just looking at my, my Googles. One second here, bear with me. I know you're here somewhere. Come on. Oh, here it is. Pacific Coast Truck Group, Mac Volvo. Let's see if they have their hours of operation on the Googles. Oh, they're open till midnight. 7 a.m. to midnight, now that is convenient. Wow. Okay, so uh, apparently we might get the truck back today yet. I think I'm still gonna get a motel for tonight though. It's a cheap one, like a Motel 6 or something. Somewhere else pet friendly for Diesel and I. Stretch our legs out a little bit. I gotta do some laundry. Uh, we'll see. I don't wanna get a motel if my bills are gonna be over a thousand bucks. As you know, it's gonna be, let's say, minimum 100 bucks, let's say 150 bucks for the air dryer, okay? Let's round it up to 200 just to be safe. Might even be more than that, but that's what they quoted me. They quoted me 100, so double that. 
200 plus an hour of labor, which is like 150 bucks. 150 bucks an hour for labor. Have I told you about what I think is ridiculous yet? $150 an hour for labor. So we're at $350 right there already. That's just the primary thing I want to bring this thing in for. I could replace it myself. This is, whatever. Whatever. I could figure it out, but I don't know. Whatever. I gotta get I gotta bring it in there anyways because they gotta diagnose my engine light, right? Just to diagnose it. I bet you I bet you anything they're gonna charge me like 150, 200 bucks just to diagnose it. Just to plug their computer in and go beep! Oh look at that! It's a sensor. And then they gotta go and replace the sensor, which is probably gonna be overpriced because it's probably made somewhere in Europe and shipped over here. Because it's a Volvo. Right. Oh, it's my dad. He is leaving Edmonton, Alberta on his way home. Cool. I am not. I am staying here for the weekend. But I decided to fix the truck here because the weather here is nice. This is the, the, the best climate in Canada. It rarely ever snows here. So that's why I figured, oh, if I'm going to spend a weekend anywhere, let's get away from the cold. Stay in BC, like Vancouver area for a bit, right? So we'll see. We're, we're doing math here, okay? Stay with me. Math. I'm a trucker. We do a lot of math. So $350 just for the air dryer situation. Another $100 to diagnose this. Four, four, five, five. It should be under $1,000 if there's nothing big wrong. But if it's over $1,000, I don't want to get a motel. But if it's under $1,000, maybe I'll get a motel. I think I'm, it's a pretty safe bet I should probably get a motel. It's only like 70 bucks a night. I, I don't go to the expensive motels. I just go to the budget motels. As long as they're pet friendly, there's no bed bugs, and they have beds and a TV. If you don't got a TV, don't even bother calling me. If I'm gonna pay to spend the night somewhere, you better have a TV for me. This is pretty much the only time I'll get to watch TV. And I don't watch TV at home. I got way too much to do at home. I don't watch TV on the road because I got way too much to do on the road. So when I get a motel, that's like special, very special me time. I've got a date with the TV. All right, lads. So they make this Volvo dealership on, destination on a, meters look at this. On the right side. On a road that is not designed for trucks. Why do you have a truck dealership on a road that's not designed for trucks? I remember this from the last time I came here already. It's up here on the right. So I got an empty flatbed behind me. Oh yeah, gotta, gotta take the curb. That curb's mine. Nothing I can do about it. They put this dealership in the back of the little narrow little road here. Pam, 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 pam. Here it is on the right, Volvo. And I gotta park my trailer in this lot to the left here. Hopefully it's not too full. Then I'm getting a, a hotel for the night. I've already reserved one. I'm staying at the Sandman Inn. You have arrived at your destination on the right side, 9758-203 Street. Okay, they said leave your trailer at the far west end of the parking lot. I'm guessing that's beside that reefer. Why is this guy dropping his trailer right in the middle here? Let's... Everybody get out of the way. Trucker Josh is maneuvering around and I don't want to hurt anybody. Yeah, I'm gonna go back in right beside that reefer there. Now, this should be fun. No, I'm not gonna make it. This guy is... You're blocking everything, man. <laughs> Well, I've dropped off the trailer in their yard there. So I went to talk to them. So first I've got to go check into the hotel. Okay, get all my stuff in there. And then I'm gonna come back here, drop the truck off with them, check in and everything. I still have three hours to my appointment time. And then uh, leave the truck there with them. Then me and Deez are gonna walk back to the hotel. It's only like two kilometers or like less than a mile and a half, but a mile and a half. It'll take us half an hour to walk, so I'll get everything into the hotel now, and then we won't have anything with us to walk later. It'll be easy. It's a nice day out. Just gonna go there. Hopefully they'll let us check in early, because apparently the check-in time is 4 p.m. Isn't check-in usually earlier than that? Maybe not. Let me see 
see if I can check in a little earlier because it's only 1.30 p.m. now. If not, then we just gotta wait around for a couple of hours. Either way. It's gonna be a good weekend, I think. We'll have fun. We'll make it fun. Oh, calm down there, Mr. Dodge Neon. Whoo! Don't hurt yourself there. All that power. There's a weasel in this hotel room. This is it. We're here. Uh, truck is in the shop. <sighs> the part's a little more expensive than I thought. Just like I told you, we always got to add some on top of it. I should have added a bit more. <clears throat> I should know better by now. I've been driving trucks since 2006. Been doing this for a while. And I should know parts are always more than this. It's always going to be way more expensive. If they quote you X amount of dollars, just times it by like 10 and assume that's the price. I'm not even exaggerating that much. It's just a little bit. So... The part, the $100 for the air dryer wasn't actually for the air dryer. It's just for the cartridge for the air dryer. Duh, I should have known that. I want them to replace the whole thing. That's $400. So we don't know exactly which parts in there are broken. So he says we could do trial and error and replace them. All there's like three different valves in there that could be replaced. But by the end of it, we're looking at like $300 to replace all that. And if that still doesn't fix the problem, if it's something else on the air dryer, then I'm gonna buy the air dryer anyways, and now I'm spending like $700 instead of just $400. So I, I played it safe and just give me the $400 air dryer. Uh, it's an hour labor to install, so it'd be like 500 bucks just for the air dryer. Uh, apparently it's two hours to diagnose my engine light, which is probably gonna be another like two, $300, just to diagnose, two hours to die. Don't you have computers? You, you just plug it in and it tells you what's wrong. Maybe that's two hours to diagnose it and fix it. That would make sense. That's what they allot for it. And uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, they're gonna start working on it in about a half hour now. Uh, we just walked here, this is a half hour walk to the Sandman Hotel from the Volvo dealership, the Volvo service shop. We just checked in and they're gonna call us tonight yet with a quote. If it's $500 just for the air dryer, I'm gonna go ahead and probably think it's gonna be between $1,000 and $1,500 if there's nothing big that they're gonna find. I think if it's just the sensors, it's just a wire or a connection, uh, it'll be cheap. But uh, then it'll be around $1,000. But this is just a, a minor repair too. Like an air dryer isn't that hard to, to replace. I could do it myself. If I had the proper shop, proper tools, I could even do it out in the parking lot if I wanted to myself. I just, I don't know, I don't have the right tools with me. And right now I just, I can't. All right. I can't do it here, so next time maybe I'll buy the tools and just do it myself. I've never actually done it myself, and so I don't really want to mess it up. So I'd rather learn how to do it like with my dad when I go home, because he's got like 30, 40 years experience on me, and he knows how to fix everything. You know, if the sun stopped shining, he would know how to fix it, and he would go, he'd go fix the sun for everybody. He's the fix-it man. But uh, I'm building a shop on our property in the next few years, and then my dad's gonna hopefully be able to pass on all the knowledge he has because I want to be able to pass it on to my kids one day you know uh, when we have a, a boy or a girl I want to pass on the knowledge that my dad has of fixing absolutely everything I want to be able to do that and pass that on to my kids because that's valuable so uh, we'll see for now they're gonna do it and uh, it'll be about a thousand bucks yeah that's Canadian so let's say about eight hundred dollars American equals a thousand dollars Canadian I'm just estimating so uh all in all but around the thousand dollar mark either in canadian dollars or american dollars somewhere in there about a thousand bucks so let's uh let's show you the joint shall we this is where uh this is where we're calling home for the next couple of days next couple of nights tonight and tomorrow night nice long entryway hallway that you can saunter down do your runway walk it comes with a weasel pre-installed on the bathroom floor I guess it's cooler there. And this here's the room from this angle. Come in from over there, the bathroom's there. I expected a little bit more room in here. I really did. For the price I paid, I expected a little bit more, but we are in British Columbia, and everything here is marked up for the sake of being in British Columbia. Like, look at the weather outside here. Look at this. You wanna see this? Check this out. It's February in Canada. There's leaves on the trees. 
on the walk here, I didn't have this camera with me. I had it charging in the room here. I promise you, maybe we'll show you tomorrow if we go for a walk. There was a house in Canada here with a palm tree in the front yard, a real one. I stopped and stared. I did. They had fake grass though. That was weird. I'm like, so you're going to, you're going to go ahead and plant an actual real palm tree in your front yard, but you're going to lay down like fake grass. Okay, California wannabe. Like, I know you're on the West Coast, but real grass grows here, you know? It's not a desert. <laughs> so weird. It was like really obvious fake grass. It was like bright green. That was weird. But but they had a palm tree. So that made up for it. But yeah, everything here is still green. Now, there's no grass to show you here. But there's green grass everywhere. It's a beautiful temperature outside. It's about uh, 12 degrees Celsius right now in February in Canada. So this is the warmest part of Canada. And uh, this, is, this is where we're gonna call, call it a day. So, uh, oh, restart, stay up to date. What is this version? Your version of Windows 10 is nearing the end of this, of end of service, of course it is. Restart and install the most recent version of Windows to get the latest security updates and support. Really? Remind me later. That sounds boring. What doesn't sound boring? <laughs> we're gonna do some farming. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. yeah, here we go. Oh, it's nighttime again. It's always nighttime. How's my farm doing here? Look. Not bad. I didn't get that glare out of there. Not bad. It's always nighttime. Well, we watch some TV, and that's this is going to be what I'm doing, so I'll leave the vlog here. Thanks for joining me today. Join me tomorrow for more of this. We're going to be in this hotel room, but tomorrow I do got to go pick the truck up. They're supposed to be done sometime in the afternoon or sometime during the day, hopefully. I'll go there, pick it up, bring it back here, so we got to go on another walk. That's right, so we will be going past that house with the palm tree. I'm going to take you with me. I'm going to prove to you there is a real palm tree in Canada and fake grass. Tune in tomorrow to find out what it looks like.